Alright guys, it's Tuesday, March 22nd, and here's what I got for you. The Tokei power plant in Japan, or Tokai, is emitting more radiation now. I think there was a problem with getting power to one of the reactors due to the recent aftershocks here they've been having closer inland. You know, these aftershocks are going to continue, people, and it's only going to cause more problems at these nuclear plants. There was a 6.6 .6 today. I, I just, I fear the worst for this area. I mean, this nuclear radiation is getting out of hand now, and it's in a very volatile area. Okay, next I want to show you this time wave zero here, stating that March 22nd is a fish, uh, sufficient day. Rest of March, particularly you get to March 19, which is the full moon, March 20th and 21st, which is the equinox, and on the next day, the sun and Uranus, they come together at the zero point. See, what I'm trying to say is that the zero point of the zodiac is like the zero point that everybody's talking about with, with free energy or the Tesla forces and this whole dynamo. And so what I'm trying to say is like... So today may be a significant day. They call it the time wave zero tipping point. I'm just giving updated. Here we have a map of all the locations of the strange rumbling sound heard. And we're hearing it in the UK now. Very strange. Still has not been explained. Here we have a map of the Ring of Fire and the subduction zones. The blue stars indicate where there's been a major quake in the last 50 years. As you can see, the Juan de Fuca subduction zone here has not had one. That's why they're claiming we're overdue for a big quake here. And lastly, I'll show you here the continuing aftershocks in Japan. Wow, oh, there's just another one here. 5.0, 5.4, moving further in toward these nuclear plants, so... Stay alert, everyone. Today may be a significant day, or it may not. I'll keep you updated.